Praise the Lord, saints. I just came by this morning just so we could have a little prayer. We have so much going on in our nation, in our states, our cities, our communities, our neighborhoods, in our homes, and even in our churches. And so today, I just would like for you to agree with me in prayer because the Bible instructs us to pray without ceasing. And God says, if those that are called by Him, his name will humble themselves, seek his face and pray. Father God, Lord, we come this morning. We lift you up and we honor you on today. Father, we come as believers trusting you, knowing that you are able able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. We come today asking that you would forgive us for our sins, for every way that we have fallen short of your glory and disobeyed your commands, every way that we have compromised your word, every way that we have procrastinated and made excuses for not doing the things you've instructed us to do. We come today, Father, in agreement, standing in the gap for a nation that is hurting, that is broken, that is lost. Father, we come standing in the gap for our own families, our communities, our neighborhoods. We're praying, Lord God, for this nation to come to a place of repentance to turn away from evil and every ungodly lifestyle, every ungodly practice, and every false god. Father, we come today, Lord God, standing against the evils of this nation. Father, we're praying and standing in the gap for our leadership, the leadership in government from the president down, leadership in business and ministries and communities, and Father, the leadership in our own homes. Father, we're praying for godly leadership. People that will stand for Christ, that will not waver, that will not compromise, and will not be ashamed of the gospel. Those that will stand for the, that which is right, that which is pleasing unto you. Those that won't waver, won't be people pleasers and politically correct, but will be spiritually sound. Those that will speak the truth no matter what. Those, Father, that will stand up and raise their family in your word to sow the seed in our children. Father, we're praying, Lord God, that we would go into our communities and share the message of Jesus Christ. That we would minister to those that are lost and hurting, broken and addicted, abused, and those that are in bondage, those that have strongholds and locked in, in, in generational curses. Father, we stand in the gap, Lord God, and pray that families are being healed, that leadership would stand for what's right, that churches wouldn't preach watered-down gospels and tickle the ears of those that come, but Father, that it would be a piercing word that will touch hearts and change minds and change lives, that it will draw souls to your Christ as we lift up the truth in the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we're praying for bold believers to come outside the walls of the church and preach the gospel as we've been instructed to be the salt of the earth, the light of the world and be ambassadors for Christ. Father, help us as believers to stand for that which is in line with the kingdom of God and not the kingdom of Satan. Help us not to compromise and blend in with this world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Father, we're praying for this land to be healed. We pray, Lord God, and stand in the gap for this nation. We confess that we have sinned against you. We have compromised your word. We have done evil in your sight. And Father, we pray that you would forgive us. We pray that souls would come to Christ. Every false God would be exposed and every lie, Lord God, would be brought to the forefront. We're praying that the body of Christ would stand bold and be a light and go out and dispel darkness in communities and neighborhoods and households and families that we won't be ashamed and we won't be afraid, but that we'll be bold and walk by faith and not by sight. Help us to sow this truth into this land that we may be healed, that Father, you would be acknowledged as King of Kings and Lord of Lords and Jesus as Savior. Father, we honor you and we praise you today. Use us for your glory today. Guide us by your spirit and use us, Lord God, that we would go forth today and see every opportunity to look at the hurting hearts of those that we come in contact with, that we can minister to their pain and not judge them from their outward appearance. Father, we love you and we praise you. We thank you and we honor you for who you are, for what you've done, what you're doing and what you're about to do. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray and we say hallelujah and amen.